everyone! In this video, we're gonna be looking at everything that we have from the brand Ours. So Ours is a very unique Taiwanese brand um, started by a group of friends um, who met through their love of illustration. So Ours is a group of illustrators working mostly in watercolors and they came together as a group, they've studied together and they basically started this company to share their illustrations through different products that they make together. Their official name is Ours Friends of Forest, uh, which I think is really cute. And apparently the word Ours in French means bears. And then obviously it also means like ours, like us in English, which I think is a really cute name for their brand. And as you can tell from the name Friends of Forest, they make a lot of stuff inspired by nature and a lot of animals and plants in their designs. So right now, um, they are based in Taiwan and they are two artists by the names of Hank and Koopa. So a lot of times if you look at ours products on our website, it will say ours x Hank or ours x Koopa. And that tells you uh, which artist worked on the design on the product. Mostly a lot of things are gonna be kind of like watercolor, illustration, designs and I've kind of brought everything that they have to offer in different categories of stuff. So I have some letterpress things, letterpress labels and little um, notepads, things like that. And then stamps, they make a lot of wooden stamps and clear stamps. And then I have rolls of things. So PET tapes, washi tapes, and memo tapes or memo rolls, which is new. And then all different forms of stickers that they make. So let's get right into these four categories of products from ours and see what fun stuff they have for us. So first up is letterpress books. So ours makes a lot of these letterpress um, labels and label books. So just to give you an idea, they look like this. These letterpress designs are printed into the surface of the paper uh, using kind of mechanical like pressing machines. So you'll see a lot of the designs are going to be kind of like they'll, they'll have a very unique texture where you can feel the design on the page. So I'm just going to open one of them to show you what they look like. This is a letterpress design little memo pad. And what I love about their labels and letterpress designs is that the paper stock is like really nice. Um, this is like kind of matte textured paper and it's a little bit on the heavier side of paper as far as memo pads go. But this one is really cool. It's got a very delicate, like intricate design of like a wreath on here. And because it's letterpress uh, printed on the page, you can feel the texture or like the grooves of where it's been printed. Yeah, and these are perforated on the top so you can just easily tear these out. So that's one of them. And I wanna show one of these like label books. So let's open this one. And I think these designs are really great for any kind of journaling or scrapbooking. So this one is really cool because all the little designs are perforated so you can easily cut them out of this book. So let's see, I can fold it like this. and cut out this very small letter pressed number nine. And again, this is like kind of matte cream paper that's really nice and um, feels really nice. And you get so many sheets in here of these letters. Um, it's really nice for kind of like making your own like letters or names or dates. If you're the type of person who writes a lot of letters, I think this would be really perfect to decorate like a letter um, and your envelopes perhaps. So these are really great. Um, and they come in all these different designs. So these vintage looking kind of labels. 
And these are perforated, so you can use them separately, like cut them out. And this one would also be really nice to like write in your title for your journal or your name of your correspondence or something like that. It's very DIY friendly um, and very vintage aesthetic. It's very cute. And then there are these kind of labels. These are not perforated between the different designs, but I think it would be pretty easy to just kind of DIY whatever you want out of this. You can use this as a label um, for different things. Like if you're making gift bags or something like that, I think this could be like really useful. But yeah, so these are some of their letterpress label books. That's kind of a tongue twister. Letterpress label book. And I just grabbed this because I had a sample of their letterpress label pack from a while ago. I don't think we have these anymore, but this is kind of like a good representation of like what their letterpress designs can do. Yeah, these are really pretty. So that was a lot of their letterpress things. And then the next category is stamps. Um, ours makes a lot of stamps, a lot of wooden stamps, which again has their kind of delicate and like intricate but also vintage kind of style. And then I also grabbed some of their clear stamps, which come in these cute little packaging as a pack. So let's go over some of their um, wooden stamps first. So one thing that's really nice about their wooden stamps is that they come packaged really nicely in uh, kind of like craft paper like this. And you can see what the design is gonna print like on your paper. So these are some more hand lettering kind of style stamp and a label style and then a little drawing of a chair. It's really cute. I want to show you this one. This is one of their stamps that's also from the same line as this one. I think a couple years ago or maybe last year, they came out with these designs where they're kind of like hoops or like frames decorated with these like botanical illustration. So they made the letterpress version and then the matching stamp version. So let's open this stamp together. You can tell the kind of care that goes into their packaging and how much thought goes into their packaging and pre presentation of their products. I think it really elevates their illustrations. Um, so this is the stamp. It's honestly so beautiful. So this is the matching design for this wooden stamp and the letterpress book. So this is a very typical kind of wooden stamp. You see the rubber stamp design over here. It's so detailed. It would be really satisfying to stamp this actually. But yeah, even their stamps, like they're so detailed and the illustration style really comes through. And this is a set, stamp set of these designs. Again, a lot of like labels, signs, postage stamps, kind of common design motif in their products. Yeah. So those are wooden stamps from ours. Very beautiful designs. And these are their clear stamps, which come in these little sleeves, craft paper sleeves. They put a lot of thought into like presentation of their um, product so you can tell right away like what the designs are that you're gonna get and even their own label kind of like really matches their style and um, so this is kind of like a botanical one and this is again kind of going with the label um, DIY kind of aesthetic so this one I opened so I'll show you how this looks yeah so each pack will have this kind of plastic sheet with a protective cover with a lot of these clear stamps. So these sets don't come with the acrylic block that you need to use clear stamps like this. 
and I actually did a video all about how to use stamps and how to use um, clear stamps so check out that video if you're not familiar with that but yeah it's really pretty um, really fun because all of these elements are actually individual things that come off so you can make a lot of different combinations of these elements into your own design which is really cool so that was the clear stamp sets um, and then next up are rolls of things <laughs> is my category so they have a lot of PET tapes like clear PET tapes in this roll format so this is an example I think this was the convenience store Oh no, this is not the convenience store. This is probably like a desk of Alchemist or something like that. Um, they also always have like very whimsical titles for their products, which goes, al goes along with their aesthetic very well. But yeah, so you can see all the different designs. You can tell with this one, it's very, it's very much based on a watercolor illustration. Yeah, I love their drawing style. And this is a clear PT tape, so um, it looks kind of translucent right now, but basically you can peel this off. Well, first, first you would have to cut it. So let me cut this. So you cut off where you wanna cut off like that, and then you can peel it off in the back. Yeah, so you can peel this off and you can tell it's a transparent PT tape. Yeah, so once you put it down on your page, it's very transparent. The finish on these PT tapes is gonna be pretty like glossy, unless it's a matte one. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I actually use a lot of their PT tapes in my journals and they're really nice also because the designs are not super outlined or like delineated so you can kind of cut out whatever shape you want and like you can cut out like let's say you just want to use this leaf you can just cut that out yeah it's really cool um really pretty and then i couldn't grab a washi tape roll because we are all sold out at the moment but they come out with a lot of different designs for their washi tapes which is going to be pretty much the same except the material is going to be um, washi tape which is like thin kind of masking tape type of material and then we have this new product which is their memo roll I think a lot of brands have been coming out with this type of rolls where it's basically like post-its kind of in a roll format and this one is really cute it's um i think this one's called cat life which i mean speaks to me very much <laughs> so this um they've done it in a way where you have to peel each one off i've seen other brands do it where there's no backing and it's already sticky so the roll will kind of like stick to itself but it's you know kind of removable type of sticky so so you can peel it off they are perforated here yeah so you can tear a design off like so and then you would peel off the backing oh, okay so this is actually um, fully adhesive on the back so I guess this is more like a, instead of being like a post post-it in a roll it's more like a memo pad with adhesive on the back um, interesting so let me put this on here so it's fully adhesive on the back I like that they're perforated and all the designs are really cute. They're all these cats doing things, but you can see there's like space on each sticker for kind of memo. So let's do another one. Yeah, so you can, you can kind of peel one off like that and just rip it off like that. So that's another design. And this is matte, so you can you can write on these. Now the next category are sticker sheets and flake stickers. 
So ours makes um, a lot of different types of stickers and I've brought some of them here. So sometimes they'll make like little packs of stickers like this. Or yeah, so these are packs of sticker sheets. Um, this one from last year, last winter, um, they'll usually release like themed sticker packs like this. Um, a really popular one is their like a dog activity, like Shiba Inu. I, is it Shiba Inu or Corgi? I'm not sure, but it's like a pack of stickers of this like dog doing different activities and it's really cute and it sells out so fast every time we restock it. But um, yeah, this one from last year was about winter things. So there's these like snowflakes and these are sticker sheets, but it's really nice because in these um, packs, they'll include two different types of material. So this one is a little bit thicker, kind of glossier material, whereas this one is a little bit thinner matte uh, sticker. And there were more sheets in this pack. Um, I think there were like these trees and like more holiday related things in this pack. So yeah, sometimes they'll release these packs of stickers themed around something and they, unfortunately I couldn't grab another one because they do sell out pretty fast. They also make print-on stickers. So these are print-on or transfer stickers. Um, I just grabbed a, a pack. This is kind of like galaxy themed uh, with a lot of these like windows looking out into space. And you can tell this is also like very um, painterly style. Um, I think this looks more like it was like acrylic painting or something, but yeah, really pretty. So if you're curious about um, transfer stickers, I also have a how-to video on how to use transfer stickers from last week. So check that video out if you're curious. And then there's also, this is another um, example of a sticker sheet pack all about flowers and bouquets, kind of botanical design that they do a lot actually. So let's open this together to see what's inside. And again, their packaging is so thoughtful. Like this is kind of like very nice, thick tracing paper kind of material. It elevates the feeling of their products because it's so nice. They do sometimes, you know, do this like plastic sleeve, but like this is really, uh, nice packaging. So these are, um, again, you can see, I kind of messed this up just now opening it, but you can see they'll have the same design repeated on different material, which is such a nice idea. So you have three designs in here, but all three designs come on three different types of paper, which is so cool. So this is more of a washi, material it's very thin and like a little bit like that washy translucent kind of material and then this one is more matte white paper that's a little bit thinner and then this one is kind of not exactly glossy oh oh these are these are transparent actually yeah so you have washi paper kind of white matte paper and then transparent stickers. So I think that's such a nice touch and you get so many sheets in here and you can kind of use different different texture sticker of the same design depending on what you're working on. And yeah, these are very pretty, very nice um, sticker packs. And these are some more sticker packs. These are called stamp stickers. They have multiple designs in this stamp sticker series, which all kind of have like this postage stamp border around their stickers. And then this is kind of a newer sticker pack from them. This is designed by Koopa and it's basically a bunch of cats doing a bunch of activities which i think um koopa also did the dog activity sticker pack so that's very consistent <laughs> um very cute yeah these are just clear stickers on the sticker sheet and lastly i have a newly added 
product from ours, which is their flake sticker pack. So these are kind of new from them, these individual flake stickers in a pack like this. And you can see this one is um, kind of like chocolate themed, I think. Uh, let's actually open one to see. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cute. Their packaging is so cute. It says 2024 season one, our studio presents for you. <laughs> I'm a crazy paper lover. I'm a crazy stationery lover, which is very relatable. <laughs> so you open it like this and it's basically a pack of all these flake stickers of these little chocolate sweets. It's really cute. And yeah, you can tell very much here that these are kind of watercolor paintings or based on paintings yeah so you have like a heart-shaped little chocolate and this cake cake slice and all these little baked chocolate sweets yeah it's really cute and this is actually kind of like a matte texture. So you just um, peel the backing off like this and it's kind of just standard white um, matte paper. Just put it right here. Yeah. So that is their new flake sticker pack. And that concludes every type of product uh, from ours at Yoseka. I think it's really amazing that these illustrators came together as a group of friends and created this brand with a very cohesive and like kind of consistent but evolving um, style that I think speaks to like a lot of people. You have your animals, botanical illustration, They've kind of done a lot of space-themed kind of things uh, also and there's like a lot to kind of choose from here between the letterpress kind of vintage style and stickers obviously and then stamps which is also fun to um, kind of create your own designs with the clear stamps. So yeah, really uh, amazing brand from Taiwan that we wanted to give a shout out to. I hope you enjoyed watching this video all about ours and leave us a comment if there's a brand that you want to see featured in like one of these videos. I think it's really interesting to see like every type of thing that a brand has to offer and like how that kind of relates to their overall aesthetic. Um, it really makes me kind of appreciate the brand a little more. So yeah, this is really fun. Uh, leave us a comment if you have any questions about any of these products and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!